slide the X-Tac bracket onto the scope with the arrow pointing upwards. Wrap the blue strap above the scope channel and secure to the bracket pin. Insert the X-Tac device with preloaded helix tack and scope liner into the scope channel. Ensure the biopsy cap is open and the scope is straight. Fully seat the scope liner funnel into the biopsy cap. Remove the X-Tac backer card from the device catheter by folding the tab towards the helix tacks. Position the backer card with the number 2 proximal and attach by inserting both side tabs. Pull on the red scope liner clamp to release. Ensure the handle slider is in the reset position labeled R and the push catheter is in the initial locked position. Maneuver the scope to the target site. Recommended helix tack placement is approximately 5 to 10 millimeters from the defect margin. Verify position before fully driving into tissue. While applying forward pressure to the catheter, drive the helix tack by slowly pulling the handle slider to the D position until the hard stop is reached. Visually verify that the helix tack eyelet is flush with tissue. Gently pull back on the device catheter to ensure adequate helix tack engagement. To deploy the helix tack, ensure the handle slider is in the D position. Press and hold the blue release button while advancing the push catheter forward until the hard stop is reached. Remove the device catheter from the scope. Reset the handle by sliding the push catheter back to the locked position until it clicks into place. Move the handle slider to the R position. Reload the second helix tack by securing the distal end of the catheter and advance the driver into the reload pill until the driver engages. Continue to advance, then remove the catheter with loaded helix tack. While holding tension on the suture, slowly advance the helix tack along the suture into the working channel. Maneuver the scope and target the second position. Verify position before fully driving into tissue. If position is not optimal, reverse helix tack by gently pulling back on the catheter while pushing the handle slider to the R position. Reposition and repeat technique to place the second helix tack. Prior to deployment and with the driver still engaged, apply tension to the suture to approximate tissue. Deploy the second helix tack. Repeat technique for each additional helix tack. After the fourth and final helix tack placement, remove device catheter and scope liner from the working channel, leaving the suture in place. To load the cinch, thread approximately 3 cm of the proximal end of the suture through the gold suture loading loop. Pull the gold tab in line with the catheter until the suture has passed through the peak collar. While holding slight suture tension, insert the cinch into the working channel. Advance the cinch until it extends approximately 3 to 4 inches past the scope, ensuring that it is parallel to the tissue. While holding the cinch catheter in place, apply tension to the suture until the helix tacks and tissue has been approximated. Care should be taken not to pull suture too tight, resulting in breakage. Prior to deploying the cinch, hold suture tension gently. Grasp between thumb and pointer finger, allowing the suture to slide. Open the cinch handle with the palm facing down. This will release the safety mechanism. Deploying the cinch is completed in three stages. Stage 1. Squeeze the cinch handle with one hand to pull the peak plug into the peak collar and lock the suture. Stage 2 of deploying the cinch will require two hands. Continue to squeeze the cinch handle to advance the beaded rod through the peak plug. Finally, continue to squeeze the handle to activate the suture cutter and release the peak collar and plug. Remove the cinch and remaining suture from the scope channel. Visually inspect final closure.